Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released iOS 11.1 .1 Beta 2. It came in at a pretty small 174.3 megabytes. Let's take a look at the build number. This build is 15B5078E, and it's kind of significant. It fixes a bunch of bugs. There's actually eight known issues that still remain in this particular beta, and there's nine resolved issues, such as delayed sound on iPad Pro 12.9 and 10.5 second gen versions. And then there's also quite a few little fixes in the background. One of the things they've added is the 3D multitasking gesture. So if you push hard on that, you can multitask again. They brought this back. They said it was a technical issue for iPhone 10, and they've brought it back to this particular version now. So if you're on this beta or the public beta when it's out, you'll have that back if you have a 3D touch device. Now, they've actually added a feature or a change if you use SOS. So if you go in here, go down to SOS, down at the bottom, you can now change whether or not you have a countdown sign sound if you're using SOS. So if you push this button five times, you'll go into SOS and it will notify your emergency contact if you have that set up. So that's one thing that they've changed. Now, one thing that is not there is messages in iCloud. They haven't brought it back. So if you go back in here, go down to messages, it's just not there. There's nothing there for messages in iCloud. And there's also no peer-to-peer -peer Apple Pay yet. So they haven't updated these things and we're still waiting for them. Now, one new thing they have added is hundreds of new emoji. Now, if we go into messages, you'll see here's quite a few of them. So if we go here, these are all the new ones and there's different genders for each one of these and different skin tones, all sorts of things and all of them have changed. So you've got some different things like vampire and wizard. Uh, down here we've got zombie and a little different goofy face, a little sh or sh emoji, and uh, a dinosaur, things like that. Now, I did run a Geekbench on this, so if we go back, you'll see that the Geekbench score is 4223 for single core and 10,294 for multi-core. Last time, it was a little worse, so 4248 versus 4223. That really is worse on the new one, but on the multi-core score, we've improved a little bit. And so hopefully we see a little bit of a speed change. 3D touch lag is still there, and that's not fixed. And my battery life on Beta 1 was actually pretty good. I updated from 11.0.2 to Beta 1 because the battery life on 11.0.2 was very bad for me on my 8 Plus. So this particular device worked really great on Beta 1 with battery life. I easily got through a day, no problem. And it seems like hopefully Beta 2 will be the same, and we've got all these little added features. But that's pretty much it for iOS 11.0. 1 beta 2. If you found anything else though, let me know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.